Have you ever wondered what life would be like on a larger planet? A world two, three, or even ten times the size of Earth? Standing on the surface, our planet looks like a vast, awe-inspiring landscape, stretching as far as the eye can see. But in the grand scheme of our universe, Earth is a very, very small place. Even in our solar system, which pales in comparison to galaxies, nebulas, and clusters of stars, Earth is dwarfed by gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Of the eight planets in our solar system, Earth is the fourth smallest. But what if the Earth grew ten times larger? Is that even possible? In 2016, a NASA spacecraft began wandering through space exploring the countless celestial bodies scattered throughout our known universe. While searching for new stars and black holes, NASA discovered a number of massive, rocky planets called super-Earths. These planets, like Earth, have solid surfaces, orbit around nearby stars, and maintain some sort of atmosphere. Though they are smaller than most gas giants, super-Earths can range from two to ten times the size of our planet. So scientists began to wonder, how would our evolution and history have changed on a larger ball of rock? What would life look like on a superplanet ten times the mass of Earth? Let's start with the basics and assume the large new Earth has the same density as the Earth you live on today. Larger planets create a greater gravitational force. So if the Earth grew ten times more massive, you would immediately notice a change in surface gravity. We won't dive too deep into the math, but if you weighed 150 pounds on Earth, you would weigh about 323 pounds on a planet 10 times as massive. Imagine trying to carry twice your body weight. Your muscles may not be strong enough. Almost everyone would struggle to run, walk, or even stand. The population would become immobile, and our environment wouldn't fare any better buildings would crumble under their own weight. Forests full of towering trees would splinter and fall, unable to support their own branches. This substantial change in gravity could bring our world to a crashing halt. But what if humans had always lived on a planet ten times the size of Earth? What if we rewrote the history of our planet, changing this one important variable? What would the world look like today? Let's start with living organisms. What would life look like on a larger planet? Thanks to an increase in gravity, organisms may shrink downward and expand outward. The tallest trees would grow wide and stocky. Flowers would bloom on thick stems, far broader than the ones you see on Earth. Animals would look even stranger. They'd evolve heavy, powerful legs. Even with stronger legs, animals would move slowly. No more cheetahs zipping around at 50 miles per hour. No more falcons nosediving out of the sky. So what about humans? Like every other species, our bodies would transform drastically. Theorists imagine humans following one of two paths. If we evolved as predators, we may become dense and stalky, almost like bears. If we evolved as peaceful gatherers, we may stay light and thin, like a deer. If humans changed shape, our society would follow. Let's assume humans on a larger planet grow short and wide. Doorways may stand four feet tall. A five-story building would be roughly the size of a house on Earth. Many modern luxuries might not exist on a superplanet. Air travel is a big one. The increase in gravity would make flying far more difficult. For the same reason, space travel would be nearly impossible. Current estimates suggest even a 50% increase in the Earth's radius would make rockets unfeasible. But if you multiply Earth's mass by 10, the radius would increase by over 100%. Satellites, space stations and moon landings would never happen. Our society may be stuck on the ground, but it's not all bad news. Think about how much more space we would have to expand. Earth has a surface area of 197 million square miles. On the super-Earth, we would have over 900 million square miles to explore. 
humans would encounter new and exciting natural wonders. Mountain ranges dwarfing the Himalayas, deep sea reefs spanning thousands of miles, deserts, rainforests and icy continents waiting to be discovered. But there's one big question we forgot to ask. We know that life would evolve differently on a larger planet, but would life ever exist in the first place? A super-Earth faces many challenges a smaller planet does not. Take interstellar collisions. Over the years, Earth has narrowly avoided a number of cosmic catastrophes. A larger planet would not be so lucky. It would attract many more cosmic bodies. Any one of these collisions could sterilize life as we know it. To make matters worse, our Earth has a molten core composed of liquefied metals. Those metals preserve the Earth's magnetic field. This field protects the surface from dangerous solar winds. If our planet grew 10 times more massive, the core would change from a liquid to a solid. A solid core would weaken the Earth's magnetic field, exposing the planet to those devastating solar winds. Just look at the barren surface of Mars. That's what happens when solar winds scrape away a planet's surface. A larger core also creates extra energy, which gets trapped inside the planet. That energy needs some way to escape the interior of the planet, so it bursts from the surface through volcanic eruptions. Over time, these eruptions would increase global temperatures. Scientists don't know how high the temperatures would climb, but most organisms would not survive. Imagine somehow life forms brave the heat and solar winds. Would a larger Earth satisfy the basic requirements for life? Many rocky planets in our universe contain water. These aqua planets house gigantic oceans which stretch across the surface. A larger planet may have water, but it may be uninhabitable. Thanks to its high surface temperature, a super-Earth may turn into a vapor planet. The water would evaporate into the atmosphere, creating a planet covered in steam. If the Earth were filled with hot vapor, life wouldn't stand a chance. Our planet may be one of the smallest members of our solar system, but if the Earth was any bigger, we might not be alive today.